Hello and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Last time we opened uh, 10 packs of Eternal Stream, or whatever the new box is actually called. I'm pretty sure it's Eternal Stream. Uh, and we lost two games because I played like dog water. Uh, in today's episode, we will just be doing more just generic duels with fortune ladies because I still don't have a new deck built. Kind of going to be, I'm kind of working on one and then I'm like really, really still contemplating UA monsters and the UA deck. I think UA is going to be very strong. So I need to open a lot of Eternal Stream, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, I'm glad that they gave me 10 packs for free, but those 10 packs didn't give me anything. We are actually in a pretty good position because they're going to be able to start their plays. We can actually use jamming waves to pop one of their cards and then we can uh, pretty much go full combo. This combo is even better if we draw a past on our turn here or we draw a vision on our turn here. They have Jinji and they have Double Summon. Double Summon is pretty good. Uh, we see Summon of Bujinji Turtle and Bujinji Centipede. They can go into a rank 4 here. I think Bujinjis have a rank 4. Um, they do. They have Sus Susanoo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Susanoo. Whoa. It, it's Susan Oh, whoa. Hog. Um... It's attach, take one from deck, eat it out of your hand instead of the graveyard. They add crow to hand. Crow can negate the attack of a monster. That is fine. Draw past here. No, we draw void trap hole. So, so, good. so we will set trap hole. We will normal water. We will activate calling. Calling will special summon. Actually, we can't go full combo because we don't have a fortune extra uh, fortune lady in hand to do the play. Uh, so instead, we will special summon dark. Join me. We will summon dark because dark will uh, let us go over there. We're going to use this to change you to defense. Bujinji Turtle says no, so we got rid of uh, Bujinji Turtle. We will activate our skill here, targeting Dark to beat over this and bait out the Crow. A quarter of the attacker's attack? That's weird as fuck. I've never seen a card say take a quarter. I'm sure that's a dual links thing and Crow doesn't actually say that. I'm pretty sure it says half. But I'm pretty sure that's a dual links balancing thing. Energy Crow. What is that just an actual text it has? No, okay. That's dual links text. Cool. So they activate uh, its effect to add another Bujinji to hand. They're adding Crane. Crane says double the attack of like the monster. monster. Uh, double the attack of the monster. Summon the monster. You're summoning Yamato as well. Uh, during the end phase, Yamato adds from deck to hand and then sends a card from hand to grave. They're going to attack into that, beating over for four. And then they're going to double... Oh, they're going to double that here. I forgot this card can attack me. So we are just going to get beaten by Bujentai Susan Owo. Holy crap, totally. Bujinji's, Bujinji's got even stronger as well because of, of Tanky. Uh, it searches all of their cards. So Bujinji's are even more strong. And I was kind of working towards a Bujinji deck, and then I kind of stopped building it, but I might have to now. A lot of decks got a lot stronger um, because of of Tanky. Um, and I think Bujinjis are something you have to watch out for now. I think um, raccoons are like super underrated. I haven't seen anybody talk about raccoons. And I think they're actually going to be pretty decent. Um, 
I think Luna Lights are still completely playable. Uh, this is actually a pretty good hand. Uh, we're missing everything uh, for going second. Uh, we're missing... We're not missing anything for going second except for jamming waves, which we could very easily draw. And I'd be able to use, especially if they set a card. Jamming waves is essentially our going second card. Uh, it's, it's like the only going second card we have in the deck as well. We see a Photon Advancer Summon and then a Photon Vanisher Summon from hand. Um, Photon Vanisher lets you add a Photon Galaxy. Galaxy! Uh, what the fuck, Galaxy Photon? Return one from deck to hand. Okay. They add Photon Stream of Destruction. Okay. Apologize if you can hear the sirens outside. Uh, they Ixie summon Star, Star Siege Lord Galaxion, which isn't a galaxy card because it's Galax I and not Galax, uh, Galaxy with a Y. So not actually a galaxy card. Also not a photon card. I'll just summon one from deck. There's the big lad. Big old Galaxy Eyes Photon who banishes uh, both cards when it attacks. And they're gonna set um, Destruction Stream. Control, target, banish. Cool, we drew calling. So, it's actually pretty nice because we can use calling to add a monster if we need to. You're gonna see me summon past. You're gonna stop my plays now, or you don't let me keep playing. I mean, if they stop my plays now, I can't do anything. So, activate calling. So important text on calling is it's not you can only use the effect of Fortune Lady calling once per turn is you can only activate Fortune Lady calling once per turn. So if they negate calling, you are actually just done. You can't do anything else. So we'll activate pass effect, change her level, and we will banish a, a lady and a pass from our hand or a water into pass from the hand, increase your level. We will then go to special summon into every. Do they have to control galaxy eyes? I think they have to control galaxy eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will activate Lance in response. Make ourselves immune. We will set controller. And then we will activate vision to set up for next turn. Because we will add calling to hand. And hopefully we don't draw dark. All I'm saying is hopefully we don't draw dark. I mean, if we do draw dark, we can use calling to tribute for it, but ideally, ideally I don't have to worry about that. We'll target the monster, so she goes up to 32. And then we will beat into Galaxy. We don't want to attack into Photon because if, uh, at start beginning, at end of the number step, we can banish both of these. Eternal Galaxy will target the universe coalesces into the light of chaos. He before me. Okay. Here's the new big boy that the galaxy has got. They got Neo Photon Galaxy Eyes. Uh, we will not continue our attack. This fucker is big. 4,500. Um, negate the effects of all face-up cards currently on the field. Yikes. Once per turn, you can detach one Ixies material from this card. Detach all materials from a monster you control. Then this card gains attack for 500. Uh, also, it can attack up to that many times each battle phase. 
this turn. Very, very, very strong card. However, it can't actually negate the effect of all face-up cards currently on the field because it did not use Galaxy as Photon Dragon as a material. So, it's not, it's, it's still really strong, but it's not that strong. Lizard activates to add a dancer. Careful, must be field. Okay. We're gonna do this now while he has no way to negate this. We are going to tribute every to steal photon. He cannot get over his own monster. So, Photon Vanisher lets me acquire Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon! I have see summon my monster! Vanisher will trigger Star Siege Galaxy on comes back out. Okay, so this is actually going to look pretty weird. They're going to be able to attack into uh, theirs. They're going to use their effect. We're going to activate the effect of vision because both... We're going to activate both. So now we won't take battle damage on our next one. Also, I don't think they get Neo Galaxy Eyes back. Because I think Photon Dragon will come back, and they don't have Zone for Neo Galaxy Eyes. So, that's hilarious, and I love that. Okay. Every effects, yes, we will banish. We will banish this one, because it's the biggest. Activate this, we can no longer be... Uh, con con controls. <coughs> Banished, I can negate the damage I would take, which is whatever. Uh, we'll activate calling. To summon dark. Join me. Activate our skill to boost dark. Go to battle. We will attack into Star Siege with this one. Activate Dark Effect to Special Summon Water. Water will draw us a card. That's funny. Actually, yeah. We win because of the effect of Enemy Controller. Get in for game. Easy clap. GG's. That is how you play around fucking Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. You just let them think they can bring their own card back and they don't have zones for it. Eat shit, loser. Easy money, baby. Easy money. Right. We'll do one or two more duels depending on how long this one takes. John playing normal Kaiba. So they don't have Ultimate Dragon, which means they have to be playing the, their cards raw. They're playing Balance. Okay. So this could just be a Romages. I play, I use Kaiba as my Romages. Just because he's who I had when I was building the deck and he has Balance, so... It is Triamids. I have no idea what Triamids do, by the way. This is this is a completely fucking weird ass deck to me. They're, you're gonna do a bunch of shit, and I will have no idea what the fuck is going on. I know they can like multiple summons and do a whole bunch of shit with field spells, and I don't know what they do.
we're going to summon past. What the fuck do these do? Uh, destroy. Hey. Okay, so this does nothing. It lets them switch their field spells. Not so bad. That's Metal Morph. Okay. And I just won't attack that one. I'm okay with that. I mean, I can if I want to. What does it do? Let's pretend you can send one face-up tribe card from your graveyard, then target one set card in the field. I don't have set cards. So... Actually, I need to I need to do some set cards. So I will I will have to activate Lance to negate uh, so it's unaffected by Metal Morph. I have no cards in hand, so this grip does nothing. Like Hunter activates. My we'll send activates. King Golem to the grave to, uh, to set cruiser. What the fuck? We have to unfortunately activate the time passage here, targeting past. So we can activate pass effect. Change her level down by one, because we unfortunately drew into a second another lance. Uh, we will banish this from hand to decrease. And then we go into every. We'll be able to activate calling here. Or not. We'll activate calling on next turn. We will use the effect of Lance targeting this one. It is now unaffected by its metal morph. Okay. I, I don't know what exactly is going on. I don't know what the fuck trimids are. What do they do? Yes, actually, I do think that'll work on you. What does this do? Cruiser activated. Oh, it's Cruiser that's activating the grave. You could add one tri mid monster from deck to hand. Okay. They already activated both of these effects to. All right, we're gonna set a lance, and we are going to set an econ, and then we will battle over their master because master says Ooh. master what would be able to pop our our, uh, our other spells, which just won't happen now. Sphinx activates. Okay, we're gonna go to end phase. Entertain me. Is this unaffected? No. If a tribe and monster you control battles, your opponent cannot activate effects until the end of the damage step. So before they enter, before damage step, I need to do this. I need to do this here. Making a tribute. Tribute every, taking control of Sphinx. What are you going to do? You can't do anything. I have your Sphinx. Watch and learn. I, I will not lose. Smile. What's your plan here? Come on, Johns. About to end their turn. And that is the game. Every's effect activates. Every will summon by banishing past. Uh, 
They get their card back. It's a big wall. Whatever will I do about it? <laughs> Every's effect activates. We can banish a card. We will say we will banish Sphinx. We will activate Calling and Special Summon Dark. And they forfeit. Yay! Easy peasy. All right, and that'll be today's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.